guys i have a question from engineering mechanics the question is asking determine the horizontal and vertical components of reaction at the supports neglect the thickness of the beam so they are asking all, all the horizontal and vertical components of this reaction let's see how we can find this out so first of all I would like to draw a free body diagram in this one so here we go so it's straight line they say neglect, neglect the thickness so we don't have to uh, measure the uh, measure the width right so we don't have to measure the width and this is 5 feet 5 feet and another 5 feet and another 5 feet ok here we go and this is A and this is hold by something and here it's B exactly at 10 right here and this is B and we have a force acting on it at 5 and they have given the vertical and horizontal distance this is 4 this is 3 and this is 5 right so that's what given and they have also given the moment around here 600 lb so first of all uh, we know the moment uh, we can take two commands here this uh, this f, f of x gonna act this side because we know from here this 500 lb is uh, 500 pound is acting this side so the so the reaction is going to be opposite side right this is going right side so the reaction is going to be left left side so that's how i know fx ffx is this side and since this is acting this side so the reaction is going to be upward so this is upside f of uh, let's say this is a x a y so it will be easier this is a x and this is a y and i also know this is b is going upward because that is that is the only direction possible for b because when this acts downward this is going to pull upward right that's going to be the reaction and we have got all the things right here and the next thing i had to do is i had to find the i had to find any of this well b i had to find a x a y b y um, first of all i like to find b y so therefore i take the moment of uh, a the total moment at a it's going to be zero as we already know it's going to be zero at this point and since we have only one moment is given I would like to keep it positive therefore I take this dire direction as positive therefore clockwise I am taking clockwise as positive and solve for this so let's uh, if you see uh, in this diagram uh, in this diagram it's it's this uh, this is along the x-axis therefore there's no x uh, there's no moment in the x-axis only the y component is gonna come come out therefore I only take y components here so first of all they have given 500 lb force right here to calculate the moment i had to find the sine theta because i am only looking at the vertical components there is no horizontal component for moment so i am only taking the vertical here is going to be 500 sine theta sine theta is going to be opposite over hypotenuse always 4 is opposite and 5 is hypotenuse if i calculate 500 times 4 over 5 it's going to be and since I am taking uh, clockwise positive, I am going to keep this positive. 500 times 4 over 5. And also, I am adding 600. This is positive, clockwise is positive. And I have to multiply by distance too. This is just the first, so I have to multiply it by distance is 5. And then, by is acting upward, so it's going counterclockwise, so that's 
because therefore it's negative and this is a force by is a force I have to multiply it by the distance and if I finally this is whole thing is equal to zero so if I finally finally find solve for by I will end up with 260 LD so I have found the by already and we know sum of sum of all the y forces is equal to zero because this is not a moving object is in uh, equilibrium right so sum of all the y forces are equal to zero therefore I can solve for this one like if, uh, there are two y three y components a y b y and 500 will be acting downward so first start with the a y a y is positive because it's it's counterclockwise and no no we, we are taking clockwise positive so we have to keep it in mind keep that one in mind so let's say so a y is going to be negative I like to add the positive first so 500 times this is like to find the vertical components I had to find the cos theta I have already found it it's like 5 times 4 500 times 405 its solve is to be 400 500 because 5 multiply like if you solve it you will get 400 right 400 and minus a y a y is counterclockwise so i put minus a y and b y also counterclockwise i put minus b y i have found the b y already i put directly 260 and if I which is equal to zero so if I solve for a y I will end up with 140 lb so this is my a y and the only thing where we are left to find is a x so in order to find a x I have to find horizontal components so we know sum of all the x force of x is equal to zero here let's go let's see what are the horizontal forces? Horizontal, we have only two horizontal forces, and this one is acting counterclockwise, therefore, this is negative. Ax and this is going going downward, so this is clockwise, therefore it's positive. And if you if you have to find the horizontal component of this, we had to we had to find the cos theta. 500 cos theta is 3 over 5, 500 times 3 over 5. This equal to 0, right? So if I calculate, it's going to be 300. So AX will become 300 LB. So we have found BY, AX, AY. That, those are the three components. That is my question. Determine the horizontal and, horizontal and vertical component of reaction at the supports and neglect the thickness of beam so we have found all the very all the components i hope you guys like this video see you next time